As a healthcare operator, there is no way you will not face the hustles and bustles of life during your daily activities of taking passengers from one place to the other. You might either have problems with the police, um, your passengers in your park, or the road is bad. That is why on today's Eco Experience Show, we are going to be talking to the drivers at Aruna Park, Ifakoi Jaye. We want to ask them to share their experience so far in their job. Join us as we meet them. I am Ewell, and this is brought to you by Coded TV. Can we know your name and your position, sir? Uh, my name is Alahaji Abdul Mumin Omar. As you can see, indicating my calf there. I am what? So, 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 as you can see, indicating my calf there. Yeah, that is my name. All right. So, what's your position here? What do you do in this park? I uh, am a transporter. Uh, Keke Marwa, you decide. I'm the shaman here. Aruna, Aruna unit. If I call you Lagos, Nigeria. So can you help us share your experience on how it has been working as a chairman in this park with other drivers and every other person, and even the passengers? Uh, uh, it's not an easy uh, thing, but as a human being, we get to understand ourselves. And uh, we need to reason with ourselves then and move forward. Mm. So what are the major challenges you have faced here? Uh, the major challenge, the challenge are much. You can't explain uh, everything at the same time. But uh, my major challenge here is the space. In particular, I don't have enough space. And uh, you know Lagos uh, law concerning the traffic and all that. Uh, we need to just make sure our people are in in order with the little space I have, so I do manage them. That's why you see me here 24 seconds. I make sure that nobody block the road and uh, our job continue. And we are getting it right. right. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. My name is Olua Sukomi. I'm one of the operators in the park. Okay, so how long have you been working here? Uh, let's say roughly, let's say take a year, sure. Yeah. So, so far, how has it been for you? Mm, yeah, you know, in, a, in, in someone's life, there are some times that you find things in an easy way, and someone, uh, there's only the of easy, easiest way, and, and there's no of the opposite. There are some times that we do, we do good, and there are some times that we praise God in another way also. Okay, so what are those challenges that you have had as you have been working here? Challenges on what? Is it with passengers, with you know, with all this, um, with the police or any traffic person, or your unit people, your fellow operators? Uh, the only uh, challenge I can view on is that uh, the way last month or whatever, the way they arrest the the commercial use is somehow is wrong. The way they approach them, the way they they treat them is wrong, and uh, some of the official also. But I can I can easily specify for on last month the way they they, they rapport with passing, especially commercial use. The way they treat them is very wrong. So what would you suggest should be done? I just I would like our government to see to that. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Temidayo Ogurumbi. I'm a rider in this uh, this unit. Okay, share your experience as a driver in this particular. Unit. Ah, uh, the the job is not easy, but you know you just have to uh, adapt to the system, and you know because there are many challenges that we are facing here as a rider or uh, riders. Uh, one of the uh, one of the challenges is the. Uh, the the union and but now they are cooperating now. Another one is 
uh, you know, the, the bad roads, especially this unit, Aruna or Bawale, the roads are bad. The roads are bad. And, you know, every week we used to go and, you know, maybe repair something in our tricycle. So what do you think can be done about it? Who do you think should be in charge of fixing these roads? Uh, the government. The government, like the local governments, let them come to our aid and help us to fix the damaged roads. Thank you so much, sir. Have a nice day. Uh, my name is Ugbu Ezekiel. I'm operator here. So how long have you been working here? It's a year and then three months. A year and three months. Okay, that's quite a long time, I must say. Um, tell us your experience so far. Though, as in the situation now like this. Both in this COVID-19 time and since the time you joined this um, park as an operator. Yes, there is difference now than before. Before, we should carry uh, four passengers to Obaole, then at the rate of 400 naira. But now carry two at the rate of 300 naira. Although now like this, as to my own understanding, I see that is, that is more better than before because before uh, our cacao will not last long. But now like this, the cacao will last long. And what about making it last long? The weight that is not there. The weight that is not there. Oh wow! <laughs> There's not much weight again. The cacao will move okay. more than before. And uh, this issue of uh, COVID-19, the social distance, that make us to walk like that now. So, as for me, what's what, the biggest challenge? As in, like your biggest problem in this place? What is it that you don't like about the park? Uh, not like this. The population of uh, Kaka is too much here. So, and uh, the amount I used, I used to have before, I can't meet up to that amount now. Okay. Hmm. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Tell us your name and what you do here. My name is Kola Ole Sunday. I like okay. So I'm an operator here. All right. So how long have you been working here? Three years now. Two years now. All right. So for these two years, share your experience as a as an operator in this park. Well, this from for the period of two years, I think I would say that it's not that easy, okay. But due to the we face some little challenges, right? Why the plasma and the other issues? issue. Then the passenger also. So before the pandemic started, so now it's even worse now because before things normally move fast. But due to the current situation we got now. We stand there for more than one hour before we can even carry a passage of 200 there or 300. So it's, it's not that easy. Okay. Yes. So what would you say is the major problem this park is facing? Uh, the major problem is this park is facing that. We can, as, we, as you can see us now, yes. so that's why they can just come in and say they start parking keke, which is wrong. So we need to... Why are they parking keke? For what reason? They say we are parking as the road. Okay. So and we are not causing any traffic here. So what have you done to ensure that you have a better space to park your keke in this area? Well, that is not in my position. So I'm not the chairman. So the question is, goes to, to the chairman. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Have a nice day. Um, what, tell us your name and what you do in this park. Hey, my name is Muywa Akinubo. Okay. I'm operator. Yeah. All right. So how long have you been operating? And, uh, Four years ago. Four years now. That's a long time. So tell us what, tell us, share your experience as an operator in this park. Uh, my experience that we have good manners here before the band of Kekal said. But the new people around here that just come in, join us, but they have not understand the work, uh, the way we do here. So we are trying to put them through how we organize ourselves. Okay, so are you having problems at this park or it's a very peaceful one, something, it's a park that's not giving you issue? No, there's no issue. I'll be here four years ago. There's no problem. If there any problem, we call our shaman and we solve, they'll solve it. Yes. Okay, so what, how would you talk about the road here? You know, taking passengers from here to their destination, how is the road like? Uh, the road sometimes will be bad. But when the interview of the interview of the Shamalo government, 
to weapon to pass it. And the road is a little bit, a little bit tiny. So when there is a damage of cars, I will be cause a lot of a lot of uh, dog on the road. So what's the biggest pro problem you think this park has? Mm, it's just space. space. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thank Have a nice day. Uh, my experience so far, based on uh, is based on uh, enforcement agency. They are indeed giving us a tough time in uh, every angle. Like just like this morning, they are everywhere trying to suppress people in order to embezzle money for us. How do you mean suppress? How are they doing that? In uh, maybe one mistake or the other, they will use that opportunity. Instead of them to caution people, they use that opportunity and be embezzle money from people. Just like, a, a, for example, council people, everybody knows that they are not yet out for work. But some of the boys are outside trying to uh, suppress people from, for, as enforcing people, why are they not buying tickets? Why that their ticket is not yet out for this moment? So, for, for, for this park here, we all are here just, I mean... Just to make ends meet, just to survive? Yes, we are trying to survive, looking for daily bread. So, praying for God, by grace of God, for God to change our story. So what's your experience with passengers? Is there, do you have any troubles with them? No, we don't have any trouble with passengers. All we normally do is to make sure that every passenger put on their face mask before we move. So what do you think this park lacks that you feel they should have? And what do you think can be done about it? Mm, I don't think there's anything we lack here. Okay. All right, thank you so much. What's your name, sir, and what do you do in this park? My name is uh, Victor, Victor Egwim. I'm an operator here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we have been experiencing a lot. Uh, you know, each and every day we are on the road. So, there's every tendency that we must experience one thing or the other with our passengers, with, with our passengers, with uh, the police, with the last man, with every person both the local government issues too so in terms of the uh, area of uh, passengers anyway we don't have much to say that because we are all cooperating together are you getting me uh, just like when the fuel hike came about this park the chairman here decided that we should not increase our fare we were calling the normal uh, fare that we have been using before so it was just because of this uh, COVID-19 that the government have said that we should be carrying only two, two passengers that would just, uh, you know, top a little on top of the fare. So, and uh, we have been in good times with our passengers anyway. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Sam. You have heard the Kekia operators as Aruna Park in Fako Ijaye share their experience, the good, the bad and the ugly. Right now we are signing out on a core experience. I am eWealth and this is brought to you by Coded TV. We'll see you on our next episode. Bye.